Good morning, student. Praise the name of the living God. We thank God. God is with us. Emmanuel, God with us. Hallelujah. Now, I want us to now to mesh this profile. In the previous video I've shown you how to draw the wheel. Now, I want to show you how to draw the wheel and how to actually mesh. Like I said in the other previous video, there is no particular formula in meshing. You only need to use the techniques that you have in drawing gears. That is why practice is very essential in this particular instance. Now, without further ado, I will show you how to draw. The very first thing that you do, you go back to your table. The table I told you, you prepare. We have already used the information we have to draw the wheel. Now, we want to use the information that we have to draw the pinion. This is the pinion and this is the information on the pinion. The very first thing you look for, it is the PCD. What is the PCD of the pinion? The PCD of the pinion, we are told, it is 250. So you go back to your calculator, 250, that is in millimeters. You say 250, 250, you say 200, 250, divided by 10. To change it into centimeter, it will be 25. Again, divided by 2, we take half the measurement. It will be 12.5. 12.5, you take your ruler, like this 12.5 yeah measure 12.5 12 12.5 12, uh, 12 will be at that particular point that is our 12.5 if it's a 12.5 remember the pcd of the wheel the pcd of the wheel and the pcd of the pinion they must mesh like this they must mesh they must touch each other like this you see like my left arm and my right arm should be like this they should mesh like this they should touch each other like this so what do you do you stand here on this point where the pcd is with the same measurement 12.5 stand on this point the pcd of the where the pcd of the of the of the of the of the of the, of the, of the wheel is make a mark on this reference line you see this reference line make a mark on that particular point at this point here you've made you make your mark after your studio make a mark so at this point here that you've been able to establish again at this point now stand here again then now draw your pcd of the wheel remember the ratio is one is to one so the 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 measurements of the pcd on both the wheel and the pinion are almost equal then that is now we have been able now to establish the PCD of the of the pinion. This now is the PCD. This now will be the PCD, the PCD of the of the pinion. So again with the same with the same, go back to your table. Me, look at the we want the, the addendum circle diameter. We want the addendum circle diameter. What is our addendum circle diameter? It is two hundred and seventy. If it's two hundred and seventy, again. Pick your calculator. Pick your calculator like this. Again, say 270 divided by 10. Change it into centimeter. It will be 27. Again, divided by 2. We want th half the measurement to be 13.5. Again, stand. Stand on your ruler like this from the zero point. From the zero point. From this point here. Again, measure 13.5. It will be at this point. Like that. That is 13.5. Stand on this point. Stand on this reference point here again. Construct your P, construct your addendum circle diameter like that. Then, having done that, that is very nice and very correct. Having done that, again, go back to your table, look for the addendum circle diameter, which is 22 226.8. Well, if you round it off, it will be 227. It will be 220. Seven. So on your calculator, you say 227 divided again by 10 will be 22.7. 22.7 again divided by 2, take the half measurement will be 11.35. Take your ruler again from this point, measure 11.35. 11.35 at this point here will be 11.35 or 11.36. If you round off, to be 11.36 from this point here again, stand from this point. Again, strike an arc like that. That becomes now our dedendum. Our dedendum. So we have been able to achieve our dedendum. We've been able to also achieve our addendum. The next thing I told you, you stand again here from this reference point here. Stand here. From this particular point here I showed you here. Let this line form a 90 degrees on your protractor like that. Then measure 20 degrees. 
clockwise so it'll be zero one two this clockwise going this is clockwise this is anti-clockwise so you go clockwise so it'll be zero one two from this point zero one two at this point then you've identified the point there take your ruler like this again draw a straight line like that using reference line but for the sake of the video i'll use thick pencils like that then where they intersect from this point this is the this is one point where they intersect there take your ruler like this from this point take your ruler again from this put your zero centimeters from this it is 12.6 it is 12.6 12.6 divided by 2 again 12, you say 12.6 divided 12.6 12 12.6 12, divided by 2 it will be 3.6 so measure 3.6 is 0 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 Point three, it will be at this point here, like this. This is where our three again divide six point three by two. Again, divide six point three divided by two again, it will be three point one five. So it will be three point one five three one three point one five will be three point two. Again, from that point, make a mark. Take your compass like this. Take your 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 your, your compass like this. So from this point, from this middle point here. I'll just, I'll just measure that it is 6.3 on top and 6.3 on the, on the bottom part like that. So draw a semicircle like this now. Construct a semicircle like that. Again, stand on this point where we identified as 3.2 or 3.15. Again, adjust so that it can, it can be on the correct scale or like that. Then turn your pencil like this. Turn your pencil like this, like this. Your pencil was like this so you turn it like this so on this point here again strike a mark like that where they intersect at this point this point this is where they are intersecting at this particular point here this becomes point q so from point q you stand here stand here on your ruler like this stand here on your ruler like this again extend your measurement to point q here here where they are intersecting here at this point so draw a circle draw an arc this forms the base line this becomes the base line now this is the base the base line that becomes the base line like i've labeled here this is the base line like this so from there now you again now take your compass again realize i'm taking time because I don't want to rush you. I want you to understand. So take your compass. So from this point here. You see this point that we identified. Where this, this 20 degree line was intersecting with the PCD. The PCD line. From this point again. Put your compass. Put your reference line like that. So that this line can form a 90 degrees. Can be on the 90 degrees scale like that. Then from this point. Measure 20 degrees counterclockwise. So this will be 0, 1, 2. From this point here again make a mark like that again turn your, your compass again like this we are up turned it turn your compass again like that again stand on this particular point here align it properly like that so that this can form 90 degrees and then measure 20 degrees going counter clockwise so it'll be zero one two zero one two so from this point again here make a mark so at this particular juncture, you've been able to establish two points. This is one, and this is the second point. So you've been able to achieve these two points here. So these two points, like this again, stand here like this. Draw a straight line like this. Draw a straight line using reference lines, but for the sake of the video, I will use thick lines like this. So where they intersect from this point here, you can see it is very close to this line at this point. This point where they are intersecting like that you take your compass again like this take your compass again like this from this point you measure properly where they are intersecting here it should be like this here again draw a line like that you can see it is very close very much close very much close. this becomes now our fillet line that is our fillet line now i want you how to mesh meshing does not take any theory or anything you just have to follow my steps keenly and practice. After you've done that, practice very well and you will see how you mesh. So go back 
to your thickness what is the thickness of our of our of our of our of our, of our opinion our thickness is 15.71 15.71 is in millimeters so change it to centimeter to 15.71 divided by 10 it will be it will be 5.71 which is the same as 51.6 so on your ruler again draw here 1.6 at this particular point this is the 1.6 from this point here after you've gotten 1.6 from this point here like this you have 1.6 like that so stand again on this middle part this line you see this line yeah along the pcd along the pcd along the pcd you can make a mark like here you can make a mark stand here again make a mark here again stand here again make a mark like that stand here again make a mark like that again turn your pencil to this other side so that you can face the right side again make a mark along the pcd make another mark along the pcd again make a mark along the pcd you can also make another mark along the pcd so you have been able to establish all these points so what do you what do you what we want we want to mesh gears we want to put a gear in between here we want to put another gear in between here so here after we have gotten, now we got a first point, it was at this point. So, this, uh, this was the thickness. You see, the thickness, it was like this. So, we want to put an arc from this point, here, one arc. So, what you do, you stand on this point, here, double your measurements, like this. You double your measurement. After you double your measurement like that, like this, mark on the baseline. Which is our baseline? This is our baseline, here. Mark, I'll mark on the baseline like that after you've marked on the baseline stand again this at this point put your pencil facing the right side like this then draw strike and arc like this that does not exceed the fillet line strike and arc like that you see that is very much correct so after you've stricken that arc we want another arc at this particular point here passing through this point so stand on this point again mark on the baseline this is the baseline see where the baseline is again stand on that baseline like that again strike and arc like that so we have we first have the first arc the next arc is supposed to pass through this point where we marked remember from this point to this point it is 1.6 from here to here it is 1.6 from here to here it is 1.6 so we want to put an arc here and another arc here so what do we do with the same with the same double measurements Again, stand on this point here where we marked as 1.6 from this point. So, put your pencil facing the right side because we won't put an arc that, that is facing like this. So, from this point, mark on the baseline here. That is the where you have marked again. Put your pencil there. Here. This is where you have marked. Again, draw an arc that does not exit the fillet line like that. After you have drawn like that, you see here you have been able to achieve one arc. Again, on that same 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 place we want to put an arc here so standing on this point here again make a mark on the baseline like this after you make mark on that baseline like this again draw a fillet line that does not draw a line that does not exit the fillet line here like this so you have been able to achieve you have been able to get this, this is the first then this is the second place so from this point we can now sketch like that now sketch like that and from this point again you can now again sketch like that so this is the pinion is in meshing for clarity you can also draw another one so we want um, a, a teeth that is on this part you want a teeth that is on this part put your pencil like this your pencil should face on the right side make a mark on the base line like that you see then turn your pencil again like this stand on this particular point like this here again strike and that does not exit the base line like that see like that we want another arc that is passing here that is like this so stand here on this point mark put your pencil facing on the left side now mark on the baseline here see then stand here again turn your pencil like this so make a mark like that so again, using your hands, you do this, fill, you fill in your fillet like that. Here, 
this is a small error i will correct let me correct it for you just for clarity this fillet should be like this that is how it should be this is how it should be not like this so you rub there so that fillet looks like that the same case if you want to add another teeth on this side stand where 1.6 was this was the point that we marked as 1.6 of the pcd with the same measurement the double measurement mark on the base line when your pencil is facing on the left side then after that stand on this particular point again like this stand on this point that you have made on the base line again make a and mark again i'll have to correct that point you want to pass another one another part from this point here again using the same measurements like this double like this now let your pencil face on the right side mark on the baseline like that after you've marked on the baseline like that stand on this particular point again draw a mark like that then you can auto fill using your hands so this will look like this here there was again a small error let me correct sorry so the fillet will look like that that is how the fillet will look like you see this is now the p the pinion i've taken my time to show you this is a neck pass paper question 2022 20, students they start for this exam this is 20 marks if you're able to draw you will be able to pass this exam please subscribe on my youtube channel channel also send comments so that after i've seen your comments i will know which area you want me to make videos on and that way we will work together for a better nation, for a better Kenya. Go greater. God loves you, student. Continue studying. Education is a key. But without God, education is nothing. Put God first, then read and work smart. Don't work hard. Work smart. Do practice every day before you sleep. That is the advice I have from our studios. God bless you. May Shekinah bless you. May the God of Israel, God of Abraham, God of Jacob bless you and multiply you remember you are a servant of god you are child you are a child of abraham a descendant of abraham and all these are your covenant blessings come and possess your blessings please share my videos share my 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 my, my links to all tivet schools right now we have 272 tivet students across the engineering sector please share this video freely you have received freely give in the name of